Hi, this is Kanna Babu. In the last class, we have discussed about the add bus screen. Admin will log in with his username and password and admin will add the bus details. In this video, we will try to discuss about admin will view the bus details as well as uh, he can delete the bus details and he can update the bus details. Alright. So, here I will try to open my project. Here you can see this add bus screen. I will go to the project, add new item and here I will try to select web form with master page. The name of that particular page I will try to give as view bus. View bus dot ASPX add button. Here select the admin master page dot master. And uh, go to the design. And within the content placeholder, I will try to go to the toolbox. And here I will try to drag and drop the grid view control. Here you can see go to the data controls. There you can drag and drop the grid view control. And I will select the auto format. And here I will give colorful. Okay and similarly bold and here I will try to increase the size now admin will can view the bus details for that I will create a stored, pro stored procedure to make the things faster I will copy the code so create procedure procedure name is prvoc underscore view bus as begin and select start from bus and now within the uh, data access layer I want to write the database code so go to the solution explorer here you can see the data access layer and here within the data access layer I already have uh, two methods are there one is auto generate service number and the other method is add bus now I will try to declare one region here hash region the name of the region I will give as view bus is it clear within this one I will try to declare one method so here I declare one method the name of the method is view bus and the written type of the method is data set and here I will try to paste the code to make the things faster First of all, I will create the connection and then I will try to open the connection and then I will try to pass the procedure. My procedure name is prvoc underscore view bus. And then uh, I am passing the uh, command object to the data adapter. And here you can see cm dot command type is equal to command type dot stored procedure and I am creating an object for a data set and fill the data. And I want to return the ds. Because the return type of this method is data set, so I want to return the data set object that is ds once build build the solution now here i have to go to the solution explorer and i will go to the business logic layer and within the business logic layer i need to write one more method so under business logic layer also here you have two methods are there one is admin login other one is auto generate service number another one is add bus so here i will declare one more region the name of the region i will give as view bus and uh, here also to make the things faster I will automatically write the code here I declared one method uh, view bus and the written type of the method is data set and here uh, I need to declare one namespace saying that using system dot data because data set is available under system dot data namespace and now here if you observe I need to call the view bus method that is available in data access layer we already declared the object for data access layer globally so I can access anywhere throughout my class and here you can see objdal dot view bus object name dot method name of and i want to return the ds so here the data access layer is returning the data set object to the business logic layer and business logic layer will returning the data set object to the presentation layer so here you go to the solution explorer and within this here you can see view bus dot aspx and uh, here i will try to right click and view code where i need to write the code within the page load so I want to uh, consume the business logic layer here so using business logic layer and here I want to declare one separate method something like private void the name of the method I will give as fill bus fill bus data bracket open bracket close and here I will try to create an object for business logic layer business logic layer dot business logic layer obj bll is equals to new business logic layer of and I will try to call the method obj bll dot what is the method name view bus and if you observe here the written type of view bus is what data set so the result of the method I have to store in where data set before that we need to declare the namespace using system dot data using system dot data and uh, here I will try to store the result of the method in data set data set ds is equals to obj bll dot view bus so I will try to call that method and here I will try to fill the data in the grid view control so grid view one dot there is one property called data source is equals to ds 
So here, what is the difference between data source and database? Database is nothing but the place where we will store the data in the form of table. Data source is nothing but it is uh, the place where the data is available. That is your data may be in Excel format or email format or CSV format or um, uh, something like an object or anything is called as data source. So database is also you can consider as what? Data source. What I mean to say here is data every data source is not the database but every database is data source so here the meaning is we are intimated to the grid view your data source is what data set and now go we need to bind the data in the grid view control grid view one dot data bind method and here i need to call the method in the page load so i want to uh, write this post back property I, I hope you know about this property if uh, not equals to is post back or is post back is equals to false then I want to call the fill bus data method. Is it clear? Press F5 and check the output. So here admin will log in with his username and password and admin can view the bus details. So here I think I need to add that uh, bus details within my master page. So here you can go to the view bus uh, uh, admin master page dot master and here you go to the design and here you select the menu control ellipse button edit uh, menu items there you can see view bus and here you can mention the navigate url navigate url you can mention as view bus dot aspx ok ok press f5 and check the output so here admin will log in with his username and password and admin can view the bus details then automatically the bus details will be displayed within the grid view control service number from place to place capacity arrival time departure time travel agency name and bus type now admin can perform the uh, deleting operations and editing operations within the grid view control so here um, grid view control will have a property called auto generate columns by default auto generate columns is true it means that we are intimating the grid view control that it has to auto gen automatically generate the columns in order to perform any operations within the grid view control that is if you want to customize the grid view control then you are need to make auto generate columns is equals to false and when auto generate columns is equal to false we cannot display the data in the grid view control in order to display the data we need to generate the code for the templates so select the ellipse button click on edit columns and uh, here you can see add the bound field so how many columns are there in our table let us see here select the star from bus 1 2 3 6 7 8 columns are there so i will try to add the 8 bound fields 3 4 5 6 7 8 bound fields i will add and here I will try to every bound field will have two properties one is header text and the other one is uh, data field header text is generally used to give the column headings within the grid view control data field is used to bind the database uh, data set column uh, data set data column by column within the grid view control but the data field name must be equal to the column name so SV number similarly select the second bound field here you can mention from place header text may be any name but data field must be exactly same like column name similarly select the third bound field here you can mention two place and here you can have the data field as two place and similarly select the next one capacity header text you can mention as capacity and the data field you can mention as capacity data field name must be equal to column name and similarly arrival time departure time t name so here for arrival time i will give the data field as arr time and for departure time i will give the data field name it is always better to copy the column names from the database so that will not get any error similarly travel agency name the data field i will give as a t name similarly bus type the data field name i will give as bus type data field names must be equal to column names now select each the bound field and convert to template field because if you are not converting to template field we cannot see the code within the source code like item template and edit item template because uh, grid view control will have different templates are there we will discuss that one and click on ok button now here you see go to the source code and check the output here automatically the code is generated that is item template as well as edit item template here you can see grid view will generally display the data in two modes one is in static mode other one is editable mode 
when gidu is displaying in static mode then the code that was written inside the item dump bit will get sorted executed when gidu is displaying in static mode then the data will be displayed within the label control and uh, when gidu is in editable mode then the code that was written within the edit item dump bit will get executed and when gidu is in editable mode then the code that was written within the edit item dump bit will get sorted executed and here in order to perform the operations uh, like deleting and editing operations within the grid view control here we are having a property called auto generate delete button by default it is false when you set auto generate delete button is equal to true then automatically a delete button will be displayed within the grid view control similarly so auto generate edit button when auto generate edit button is true then an edit button will be displayed within the grid view control similarly so auto generate select button when auto generate select button is true then a select button will be displayed within the grid view control is it clear so right in the next video we'll discuss about how to perform the deleting operations within the grid view control thank you have a nice day for more updates you can try to subscribe to my youtube channel as well as facebook group